Hey, welcome back. Thanks for coming back and enjoying another video. On this video, I'm going to teach you how to make medicated hard candies. That's right. I'm going to give you some tips, show you a few pointers, and by the end of this video, you should be able to make your own medicated hard candies. Make sure you have extra flavoring and coloring for other kinds of candy. So here we got four cups of the infused medicated Girl Scout cookies sugar. Four cups of it. As well as red and yellow. Some root beer flavoring and butter vanilla cream. You also need molds, parchment paper, a really good pot. I like my red copper. It works good. And you also need caro syrup is another ingredient that you definitely need. You need one half of a cup for four cups of sugar and a quarter cup of water. You also might want to make sure you have a candy thermometer and a flat wired whisk. The flat wired whisk makes it so you can get to the bottom of the pan and scrape the whole bottom at one time. Your candy molds your flavoring, sugar, preferably medicated, measuring cups, carol syrup, water, and thermometer and whisk. Pot. You definitely need a pot. A cup and a half of caro corn syrup. All your measurements done up, you get your candy sticks and your molds. Placing a stick in each mold here gives it so that each piece of candy is a sucker. Now, you notice I have extra molds out here like the bunny ears, the weed leaves, pipes, bongs. Alright, those are not able to put a stick in, so they're just a handheld piece of candy. Of water, my personal preference is hot water because it helps melt the syrup out of your measuring cup double batch here of candy so this is a pre-measured four cups of medicated THC sugar on average of 10 milligrams of THC per teaspoon and four cups first thing you do is you add a candy thermometer to the pan that candy thermometer has to come all the way up to 310 degrees hard crack before this candy is ready to be eaten or poured into the mold. So let's start this cooking process, huh? Underneath high heat, well at least as high as my gas powered old school rusted ass stove will go. Get it hot. You have to bring this to 310 degrees. So this may take a while. You will get several little video clips of me doing nothing but this. Make sure it's all stirred together evenly. Try to keep the side wall scraped clean or else your uh, candy will caramelize up on the side of the pot. As you can see, it's all dissolved together. So my ingredients list, I will put somewhere about there, maybe down there in the comment section. And let me know what you think, guys. I mean, do you like my videos? Do you want to see some more? This one here is going to be a, a little tricky. You know, do not attempt this if you don't have any culinary experience. This 310 degree candy will burn the shit out of you if you are not careful. But you know me, I'm a stoner chef, I don't care. So as you see, it's starting to simmer. You see the temperature starting to come up a little over 150, uh, 175 almost. So 
as you see though it's starting to simmer around the edges you just want to stir it like not constantly but enough so that it does not burn the sugar will burn fast so like at least every 30 seconds at this rate now while it's going though i'm going to take the time let's add some flavor um you know i was going to use a measuring spoon here this is a tablespoon root beer extract you know I'm doing a double batch so let's go with two tablespoons of root beer and because you know I like to mix things up a little bit that butter vanilla is one hell of a way to kick off the root beer. A nice healthy tablespoon of the butter vanilla. And now we need like one, two, three, four, five, six drops of red and like two dozen squirts of yellow that should give us a nice pretty brown see that flat whisk really gets to the bottom and keeps it from sticking and burning we're getting really close to 300 here we're definitely over uh 275 now, as you can see, we're right at that 300 degree mark. And I really don't want this to burn. So, right now we're going to do the adding of... You're supposed to shut the burner off right now. Because it's at 310 degrees, right? So, I'm going to add this. Mm. I just added all of my flavor seasoning and color. Shut the burner off. And now stir it. Now that steam coming out of there is hot. Like it is hot as a muffaka right now. Alright. Also, we gotta get this out of there. Hot. Oh, my thermometer got hot tonight too. Now we stir in our flavoring and our food coloring while it's still hot. And then while it's still hot, you got to get it into the molds and you got to do this quick. Because if you don't get it into the molds quick, you'll be stuck with it in your pan, chiseling it out. Now you can also lay out parchment paper on a cookie sheet and just dump this right onto the parchment paper and it'll thin out and you'll be able to eat it just like that. But let's go to the molds. Nice, slow, steady pour from one mold to the next. Gives you a nice, even candy in the molds and not too much mess. If you pour it too fast, it overflows. You pour it too slow, it pulls off too fast. So after they're out of the molds, I use this powdered sugar that I have also infused. Just use some of my uh, regular sugar, ran it through a grinder. I'll do another video on that in the future, how to make infused powdered sugar. But you just give them a little dip, gives them a nice little sugary coating. They're really good. Hopefully you're leaving this video with a lot of information that you didn't have before. And if not, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it. Please share it. Comment on it. Leave me something sarcastic. I don't care. I appreciate the feedback. 
Thank you to everybody who's left comments in the past on other videos. And uh, it, keep enjoying the videos. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and have a good day. Thanks for watching.